Hola, Wafetu, hola, Wafetu, welcome back, welcome to Divaland Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. We're speaking Kaiser Chiefs, we're speaking Orlando Pirates today, and uh, local football is back, Netbank Cup is back, and and it's going to be very interesting, man. Already, Mabel Sanders has taken care of business, they've knocked out uh, Richards B with four goals to nil. But in this video, we're going to speak about Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. Last week we made, uh, I think two two days back, we made uh, an episode at uh, Disky Talk, Disky Talk with Luyon, and our topic was around Kesa Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, Mamelo Sundowns, and Amazu. I argued that Orlando Pirates needs a coach. This is my opinion that Orlando Pirates needs a coach. Uh, I feel like Brahman Ngazi and and uh, Farj Davids are a bit you know low as as compared to the standard and the quality of of, of the squad that Orlando Pirates has and other people are arguing that's not the case they just need to clarify the fact that Mr. I mean Bramanda must be the head coach and and everything must be clear personally I feel like they need they need to get a coach they need to get a winning team so their game against Amazon was going to be a tough one was the last game they won they played Orlando Pirates they played against Amazon they were finding form Pepper scored two goals, also Pepper was finding form, and uh, Amazon only responded with one goal from Memela. So this game tomorrow, I think it's going to be a tough one, because we know when it comes to cup games, and, 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 and how thorough it is, and I feel like Orlando Pirates coaches, it's going to be a lot of pressure on them, and this is my opinion of the game. I'm not doing a preview, I'm just, opinion on the game is that, should... Orlando Pirates been knocked out of NetBank. That should constitute a decision, I mean, a motivation enough for the management to take a decision on Mandlan Gaz and Fadu David. If they are knocked out against Amazon, if they play against Amazon, they lose, which I think they're most likely to lose. If they lose, they're knocked out. Really, 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 Orlando Pirates management should think about the coaching system, uh, should think about the technical team, and I think a decision should be taken. Bramanda must be, you know, must remain uh, in the technical team and Orlando Pirates must bring in uh, a much stronger coach, a much more experienced coach, a coach that can win, coach that can instill, you know, tactical discipline and, 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 and football discipline in that team. Orlando Pirates is one of the best squads, man. My argument is that Orlando Pirates is one of the best squads in the country. They are supposed to be competing against Mamelo Sundowns. And are supposed to be up there. They belong up there in the league. They belong. No, they need to be the team that is teams don't want to play against. Teams are scared of playing. But right now, Orlando Pirates lacks a lot in terms of their technical organization, in terms of their discipline. So I think really, 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 really should they be knocked out, knocked out in the first you no know, games of Netbank. A decision must be taken. They need to get a coach because I think. I don't think Mr. Manda is doing it as a head coach. I don't think Fadu is helping as a head coach. That's just my opinion on Orlando Pirates. Getting to Kaiser Chiefs, we also did I'd like to recommend that you guys go watch uh, Disky Talk with uh, Luyolo. We also did another, you know, we're doing a, a, a wrap up, a transfer season, a rap, transfer window wrap up. And partly we spoke about Kaiser Chiefs. And I understand why Kaiser Chiefs didn't go out and get players. And I don't think we should be stressed about that. I think in the beginning of the season, we signed nine players. And those players have not gelled enough. Some players have not, you know, had game time. There's still a lot that the, 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 the team and the coach is trying to find with the squad. And I think we should wait until the end of the season. It's disappointing that we didn't, you know, sign the Mkwena when he was available to be signed. Uh, or Mamelo Sundowns won the battle. But I don't think we should panic. I don't think we should panic. I think we should give a chance uh, for the technical team, the coach, to finish up this season with the players that they brought in. But I'm happy with the extensions that were made. The young players, Riff Rosler, uh, young players from Academy, most of them from Academy, Riff Rosler, Kelito uh, Sifama, Sabelo Khadjave, Happy Mashiane, Bruce Vuma, and Kosin the Pillen Novo. So the topic of today is about Kosin the Pillen Novo because. It's quite interesting. These players are not going to be young stars forever. We love them, we praise them, and we support them because they are from the academy. But they won't be young players forever. They won't be promising players forever. Because in playing over, I think this is season number three, if, num if not number four, in the league right now. Uh, top league, uh, Premier League in, 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 in South Africa. And 
we are expecting you can have an upcoming young star for three years for three seasons that that's three years experience it's supposed to i mean have been decided that this player is the starter of the team is the leader of the team is a part of this team there is no doubt about it but till today we're still struggling still struggling we still have him playing once one game and then he's dropped especially this season last season he played almost you know i think majority of the of the games he also has calf experience was very influential last season when the when the team was struggling was one of the players that were shining in the team but this season is just not finding it especially with the arrival of uh, coach Stuart Baxter so the thing is here's my argument is that these young players your happy machine and others is that they can't be you know development forever at some point if the coaches don't believe in them for their own career they will have to leave Kaiser Chiefs Kaiser Chiefs loaned out Sefama is back I saw he was playing today at uh, Disky Challenge but at some point these players are going to have to leave where they're gonna get game time where they're going to 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 you know increase and improve their experience and maybe they might you know get a move overseas or they might come back to Kaiser Chiefs more matured we can't keep players young players and Kaiser Chiefs on the bench for three years that's that's just unacceptable so two days three days back Stuart Baxter is asked about uh, Kwasendi playing Lobo and uh, what I think about him especially I think it was a preview of, of the whole net bank thing so his response is that he thinks he's gonna find he needs to find a system that will suit him uh, he tried him in the 4-3-3 or 5-3-2 5-2-3 I mean that what that he has been playing but uh, it feels like he was not settling into into the game uh, it feels like he couldn't compete against uh, billiard parker and keegan doll uh, in the front three and and we saw the coach was playing him as a winger and and he was struggling he was struggling because because is not a winger he's not a player that is going to run and make runs and make crosses and stuff like that proper is a number 10 he's a creative player he makes those assists, but he scores goals, arrives in the box, and he can play as a number eight. Sometimes he can play him as a number eight, but the coach says he's going to find a way. So here's the thing, is that this coach, especially the young players, whenever they're played by Stuart Baxter, especially Mashian, especially because they're playing novel, you see their body language, you can see that they are not comfortable enough playing with, for the coach. And they are played out of position. They make mistakes. Hep Machiani committed a mistake in the final of Kev once Stuart Baxter was a, was a coach. And, and we saw in the beginning of the season with Nkosin Klenov, it's only featured in eight games out of 16 games. So the coach really is either he finds a way to play him as a number 10 or as a number 8 as a creative player. Or really, 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 if Kazachi is going to keep coaches like Stuart Baxter these players need to go out and find and find a team elsewhere i think on loan of course i know that a lot of fans of kaza chiefs would disagree the way we love our academy players and stuff like that but i think that that would be the way but there's no use for me i see no use of keeping academy players on the bench for three seasons for four seasons i i see no use at all you're just wasting their talent you're just wasting their talent the advantages the guy's 23 years still young the advantages of playing him He's still young, 23 years. Two is a creative player. He can relieve the pressure and the responsibility of you know, giving out assists from Dolly. He can also carry that responsibility. A very creative player. He can score goals. Last season was one of the players that were banging goals. The last two games was banging goals and giving assists for Kaiser Chiefs. So those are part of the advantages. He's good also playing between the lines, playing in tight spaces. So if you want build up, you want patient build up, you want. Uh, to progress the ball from the center into the forwards is a player that you can rely on is able to turn is able to twist is able to give the through ball so he comes with a lot of a lot of a lot of advantages the last one is that is loved by, by fans if you are a coach even if we criticize you we don't like you if you play academy boys one way or the other you're going to win some some hearts uh, you know in terms of of the fans and followership you need to play him you need to play him. The only disadvantage is, is that he's not a physical player. He's not going to go track back and mark. He's not pacey. He can't play as a winger. And, and, and that's it. That's it. Anyway, that's it. I think the, that is not a disadvantage. If you have a player that is like that, 
uh, you can use him going forward you don't need everyone to be defending everyone to be behind the ball and they can't receive you know the ball from the air he needs the ball to be down he needs you to play the ball he needs you to be calm and he's, he's, he's one player that can take a responsibility in terms of controlling the tempo of the game he can you know, pass back he can circulate then he can release that pass i think there's a lot of advantages than disadvantages there's really no reason he should be on the bench i'm hoping i'm really hoping that stone parks will find a solution the second half of the season if he's not finding a solution these young players really really need to think about what is happening at Kaiser chiefs if he's not finding solutions for them they will need to go out there and find loan moves that's 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 my view otherwise you know I'd like to hear from you what you think about Orlando pirates they are coaching system you think they're the best coach they have the right men for the job what do you think about Kaiser Chiefs, you know, the extension of, of young players, especially because in the play, no, what do you think? They are getting the stage, they are getting the attention they need, they are getting the game time they require for them to be reliable players. Do you think they should stick, even if Kaiser Chiefs doesn't bring in a coach that believes in them, they should stick on the bench, they should remain in Kaiser Chiefs, or they should, you know, find loan moves outside. Yeah. Otherwise, from me, Tibali Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel, football from the fans' perspective, Love and peace.